So far, we've seen that HTTP can be used to request content like what's in a web page, images, text, video. But for the apps that we'll be writing, we'll use HTTP in a slightly different way. Instead of using URLs like udacity.com, we'll use special URLs that correspond to methods like get image data that are made available by web services. Web services sometimes are also referred to as APIs, but don't get confused, they mean the same thing. I want to take a look at a quick example from the Flickr API. We're going to look at flickr.people.getPublicPhotos. This method returns some kind of image data back to our client or an app. We're going to look at Flickr's documentation for this method now. I posted a link in the instructor notes. So this is the documentation for get public photos, and there's a, a, something that I want to draw to your attention first, and that is the use of arguments. So the arguments listed here are a lot like the arguments that you'd see for a Swift function call. And you'll also notice that some of them are required, like API key, while others are not, like safe search. Now this is really cool here at the bottom. This is the API Explorer. Not all APIs have this, but Flickr does, and it's extremely useful. The API Explorer allows us to test these functions before using them in our app. The only required argument is the user ID, so I've gone ahead and copied that, and I'll paste it here. That's my user ID. And then under extras, I want to use the URL underscore M parameter. I'll talk about that here in just a second. And we want to change the output type to JSON or JavaScript object notation. We'll cover this also a little bit later. And we'll call the method. All right, so let's see what the results are. You can see uh, there's a photos and photo key. And then there are 13 photos in total, it looks like, 13. And you can see the owner ID, the ID for the image. But the one key that I really want to show you is the URL underscore M. This is the parameter that I passed in that optionals. And let's take a look at one of these images. This is actually going to be a complete surprise to me. I had my girlfriend upload some images <laughs> for her cat. So this is Eloise the kitty. And let's try another one real quick and see what else we got. I'm really curious, actually. I want to look at all these, but paste and go. Okay, so this is Eloise, and I think you get the picture here. This is information about all the images on my public photo stream. Um, this is the default, what gets returned. URLM was the extra. And if you scroll a little bit further down, you'll see this really wonky looking, ugly URL. So we'll copy this, and then we'll run this instead. And you can see that the return here is also JSON, and it's the exact same thing that we see in the API Explorer. In fact, this call right here is going to be really similar to what our apps use to send and receive data from Flickr. You can actually see the parameters that we passed. So here is the user ID. It looks a little bit different because it's escaped. And then you can see the URLM, which is the optional that we passed so that we could get these URLs for the images.